As citizens and taxpayers in NATO countries, you have every right to expect that your resources are spent wisely and efficiently. At times of financial constraints, where governments have to cut budgets, this becomes even more essential. In NATO, we have to react accordingly. I take seriously the need to reform and streamline the alliance so that we get more security for every dollar or euro we spend. Every NATO defense minister faces the challenge of overseeing defense and security at home and in NATO, but now has to do it with less money. Right now, we are looking at NATO's command structure and the way in which NATO deploys its forces in operations. I have put a number of proposals to defense ministers and will develop uh, these in a view to reaching decisions on what a leaner, more efficient structure might look like at our summit in November. One of the results of the reform process will be that our soldiers should be better aligned uh, to meet the tasks we may ask of them wherever that might be. That means the right military headquarters needed to protect allies and to deploy out of Europe if needed. We have already found one and a half billion euros in savings over the next four years from our military budget. And we are streamlining our work here at the NATO headquarters by eliminating the number of committees by three quarters to less than 100. This means fewer meetings and more efficiency. I want more people focused on the core business. I want to cut back on concrete and bureaucracy. So NATO is bringing its own house in order. As nations look to trim their defense budgets, I have urged them not to cut too far to meet immediate demands that we end up sacrificing our security. We can make the right changes if we approach this as an alliance. By doing this together and put more emphasis on multinational solutions and by prioritizing so we get a better deployable capability. Soldiers should not be in barracks but deployed to areas where they make a real difference to our security.